Hi, I'm Alex Risch, Developer Engagement Engineer at Grape City. I handle phone support for documents for PDF, and in this series of Quick Start videos, we'll look at getting started and creating a simple application that uses the PDF API. This video focuses on quick starting an application with Windows. We'll go over installing documents for PDF, creating a project setting up references, and adding a simple control. First, in Visual Studio, create an application for a .NET Standard 2.0 target. It can be in .NET Core, ASP.NET Core, or the .NET Framework. Next, right-click the project in the Solution Explorer and choose Manage NuGet Packages. In the package source, on the top right, choose NuGet.org. Click the Browse tab on the left and search for GrapeCity.Documents. In the left panel, choose documents.pdf. If you want to add barcodes to your project, you'll need to repeat those steps for the documents.barcode package. After the installation is complete, go to the NuGet folder in the Solution Explorer and confirm that the required packages have been added to your project. Next, add the necessary namespaces. Include grapecity.documents.pdf to work with the gcpdf document object, and include grapecity.documents.txt to add and work with text in gcpdf document. A quick note here, it is important to add a new page to the gcpdf document object before you start working on it, so add a new page now. Set the graphics object to point to the new page so you can draw elements on the page graphics. To add text, you can use the text format object to set properties like font and font size. Let's do that now. Draw a text string on the page graphics using the text format properties defined above. Finally, save the document to PDF. Thanks for creating a simple PDF application with me today. Check out our other documents for PDF videos at grapecity.com.